Hi, my name is Ted Denny. I'm the lead designer at Synergistic Research, and today I'm coming to you from my Southern California factory in the shipping and receiving department. This is a direct challenge to Gene at Audioholics, where I am addressing false claims that he is making on the internet that Synergistic products are snake oil, that they can't possibly measure well, and that I am afraid to meet him face to face or afraid to allow him to uh, measure my products so that he can prove they don't work. To quote Gene, there will come a time when our paths will cross at a trade show. I'm very much looking forward to meeting you face to face to see just how bold you will be then. Now he's having a discussion with a member of his online community where, his, where someone says, P.S. I have a friend named Guido. He resembles Hugo in stature, but a good one-third taller and one of the meanest dudes you wouldn't want to run into in a dark alley in New Orleans. He would be happy to pay that plug a visit. And this is what Gene has to say. Thanks, man. I don't like bullies. I won't waste time engaging Ted on social media, but I'd be happy to settle up with him face to face if the opportunity presents itself at a trade show, if we ever have those again after COVID-19. Legitimate companies don't fear our analysis or measurements. Yamaha, Klipsch, Sound United, etc. all welcome objective feedback to their products and as a result often find our analysis helpful to improve future product development. In my opinion, only snake oil vendors deny measurements in science in order to hide behind pseudoscience and lowbrow attacks. Another one of the Audioholics members has this to say. Yeah, that cracks me up about the comments. I wonder if they were on at first or if he never enabled them. I'm feeling you on the violent anger part. It really pisses me off too. The guy is a scumbag. He can't even make a three minute video without being arrogant and condescending. The lack of sincerity is very transparent. Another one of Gene's followers. Jeepers Gene, too bad you don't know the guys I used to know. $500 and he gets kneecapped. Usually solves the problem. But then, I had protection at the time, so I never had to worry about repercussions. Gene, I'm not afraid of you, and I'm not afraid of your measurements. I stand behind my products 100%, and I'm 100% confident of their ability to hold up to objective measurements, as well as subjective proof of performance. On your website, you claim that you get paid $100 an hour for consulting. I'm willing to pay you $100 an hour for eight hours when you're here at my factory, and I doubt sincerely you've ever been paid $100 an hour for eight consecutive hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We will support you 100% in your measurements. We will provide you with any synergistic research products you wish to measure. I will pay to fly your products out and have them shipped to a FedEx uh, shipping hub so that you can pick them up. No one else will touch them. I'll pay for full insurance of their value plus 20%. I'll rent you a car when you get here so you can drive out and pick up your gear drive anywhere you need to go. I will pay for your hotel. I will pay for your airfare. I will pay for you to eat in, a rest, in any restaurants you would like. And Gene, I'll pay you 800 bucks for eight hours of work. You need to fly out here and make good on your claims that my products don't work, that they're snake oil. And then we're gonna go into the reference system we're going to compare synergistic research products to whichever cable products you feel represent state of the art beyond which there is no benefit to spend more money. We will record these listening sessions in 2496 
and make the high-res files available for download so anyone can listen. If they all measure alike and they all sound alike, the files will sound alike. But you and I both know that's not the truth. But let's find out. Put your money where your mouth is, Gene. Take this challenge. Gene, you're not only attacking me, you're not only attacking my products, you're attacking my employees, you're attacking their families, and you attack the industry I love, good American companies that provide jobs and build some of the world's finest audio products. You must take this challenge or be shown for what you are. Ted Denny, signing out.